Hello, good morning. So, <coughs> so for those of you who are newbies in this blog, uh, if you happen to click this blog, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. So I'm Arnel Madraso. I am known as the teacher blogger. So started blogging two years ago uh, in Manila at Far Eastern University when I was still teaching here. And then now, it's 2019 and now here at Sabuaga City. So we are blogging. This is uh, Joaquin F. Enriquez Jr. Memorial Sports Complex. Or in short, this is the It's like the stadium of Zamboanga City, you know, so grandstand. Uh, we term it here in Zamboanga as grandstand. So when you say grandstand, this is the only grandstand here in Zamboanga City. So this was renovated. Uh, as you know, if you're watching the news, 2013, when there was a, a siege in Zamboanga, this served, this served, this ground served as the place for uh, the victims refuge no? so all the victims uh, were relocated here it took a while I think more than a year before they were transferred so this really served as a as a as a place where you know people gather together help one another uh, overcome the challenges that we face so now what is new before, I used to come here every day, every day, morning and afternoon. So, I'd like to show you what are the new features. First of all, the, the green field. This is, I think, better than look at that, the green. So, from A to Z, or from this point down, you can see the green is really consistent. So there's no, there's no brown soil. As you can see in the result stage, and here it's really green consistent. So this is the first feature that is new. And then this this barricade, this fence, movable fence is also new. And then this area here, this area here before it wasn't rubberized. Yet. Now it's rubberized. This part. So the feeling of when you're walking. The crispiness of the rubber. I mean, the rubber. This is made of rubber, not the, the flooring for the track and field. This is really new. This is really new. I think they changed the entire thing after the, after the incident because the facilities here were were not intact anymore after the after the uh, evacuation because it is turned as an evacuation site. So, you know, daily, daily activities of the people. So the rubber, this rubber was affected. The stadium, uh, the bleachers. Now you can see the bleachers. It's A, B, and C. Uh, I think it, they are really renovated uh, from the roof down to the repainting of the benches. Uh, then there, I think there's a new administrator now for this, uh, for this uh, grandstand. And I can see that they're very strict in terms of entrance and exit. They're quite, well, the, the payment, I think it's still the same, 10 pesos entrance in the morning. And in the afternoon, I heard that it's 20 pesos. Other than the swimming lesson, depending on uh, the training that you're going to make. But here, usually, some bongenius are just coming, most, you know, generally are coming just to walk, you know, uh, or run, uh, use, the, uh, use the, the oval. I think that's really the, the general use of the grandson is the oval.
So we're here at uh, Grandstand. So this is the heart of for me. I think this is the heart of Grandstand because this is the I think this is the place where uh, in in sports uh, in, in sports events there's torches. No? So this is where they light up the fire. The torch is actually carried here, and then this is being lit up. So the symbolism of the symbolism of the torch is uh, it would symbolize uh, uh, the, the flame burning. So what's the symbolism of that? So I think it's more of Okay, so the the symbol of the torch no, in sports, I think it's more of the burning desire. Uh, the burning desire to achieve greatness by winning. I think it's really more of the end result. But then, uh, part of the end result also, other than the gold, other than the success or achievements that you reap out of the sports events would be the process. So the process of it all would be that burning desire. Even if you lose or even if you even if there's hardships involved, still you strive hard with discipline, hard work, and perseverance. So that's I think is the, uh, the symbol uh, for the torch. So this one, as I said, this is the this is the heart of the this place. Because without this you know, sportsmanship, spirit of sportsmanship, the spirit, everything that is good in sports uh, wouldn't be realized. No? You can see, you can see in, in some competitions there, there are troubles, no? there are quarrels, no? Ram, rumble sometimes. No? Because they forget about the torch. The torch would always be a guide that whatever happens, win or lose, you still have to maintain that spirit of sportsmanship, the spirit of dignity, in whatever you're doing. So, so this is another feature that is new in this space now. So there is cemented area here. On the walls, there's cemented area. So I think this is Maybe five meters, four and a half meters. So all the way connected down there. So the cemented area follows the wall going to uh, the swimming pool and then out to the gate. So the advantage of this is that so you can pass by here. So transportation is allowed because there is another building the other building here another key feature new feature in this landscape is this one so you can see I'll show that to you later so you see so we're walking towards that building at this point so we're uh, we're traversing towards uh, that building the new building perhaps this is not sure what really is the purpose of this building I'm not ask around, but it seems to me that this will be used for a uh, government office, local government office. Perhaps sports, uh, sports, sports related office. So you can see here that the field before this used to be. During the, during the evacuation, we turned it to brown field, not green field. Okay, so, that side there, the other side, there's a wall, but the other side is a very so far, far is a forest tree, and there's a cemetery here. And then, here, I just live nearby. So, I just near. I just live nearby. So 
the other block. So actually it's three to four minute walk between this entrance here. So, so this one. So this is the new building. Right? So new building. So maybe we will ask around in my future plans. We will ask what is the purpose of this building. So I like the law. So definitely I think this is maybe quarters, no? Door. So look at that. So I like the door. So an athlete. So the red circle is the head. And then the yellow round circle is a heavy weight. And then with the red spread out. So I like the logo. It symbolizes hard work. So just like the, the torch. Also, someone has hard to success. And then this one is the lesson. This one is the tennis court. This is the tennis court. So, I think only the cemented ground is the new feature. And then this one, this used to be cemented already. This part here, where I think the table they are. I mean the tennis court is still the same. So that's College of Mer uh, College of Forest Agency. So this one is new. I think this is a storage room. This one. This one is new. Storage room. And then this one is new. This is still the same. Tennis. Tennis court. So this is the uh, one, two, three. So A B C. This one is Stadium C. So still the same, the structure only that they repainted. They renovated the roof. So, so everything from the roof down to the drainage system. I think they, they this one. With the elevated portion, I think is something new also. And this one, what happened? I think they elevated this. Then under the stadium, no? there are offices, no? there are rooms. So before I used to just stay here, I'm stretching. Sometimes I exercise at this bench, uh, at the stadium. No? So sometimes I, I run upwards because that would, that would increase the effort. Certainly during exercise. So, overall, uh, facilities have improved, no? but I just, so there's females in the art, I just hope that we maintain, so I think the challenge now here is that how do we maintain the government's facilities, okay, do you hear that sound, so there's also Sumba, so there's Sumba, other than the sports, other than the sports facilities. Okay. So, bye. Oh, wait. Uh, I'd like to to tell my viewers that the reason why I, I I'm not vlogging anymore because I need to really concentrate uh, in the task that I am doing. So, more time to write. So, I am really spending more time to, to read and write so I'm just building uh, the readings the bibliography that I need for my research so I submitted a lot of research already some of which are, uh, are already in review so you know that's how it is so when you start writing you stay silent most of the time because you think and I don't even post on Facebook because, you know, it's good to just be, stay silent and then even posting achievements, uh, maybe 
maybe let let other people discover what you have achieved rather than you posting about your achievements. Huh? So blogging is not necessarily posting, but you know, as you as you observe, if you are already into my YouTube, uh, I just blog at the moment. So whatever happens in a in a day. So, for example, when I take a walk, so I love taking a walk. I, I, I'll be blogging that. So in Manila, I blog basically anything. Uh, when I go to the mall, sometimes I go to the church, I blog. Because they say that you can never bring back that moment. So if you didn't record it, so you wouldn't be able to bring that back. So this one, maybe little by little, I'm coming back. Uh, but not really to do this constantly. Because my priority is really to write. So, for those of you who who found inspiration in what I'm doing, uh, maybe try to find it in yourself to to also, you know, be reflective. Be reflective. Uh, most of the time, I think, have that in introspection. Uh, Sometimes inspiration or motivation may not necessarily be depending on other people. Uh, but I know some of you are clicking the blogs because you find it entertaining. Sometimes you want to find out what is happening to me. I think even even the famous blogger, the one that I really admire, she will Lasovich, the cancer survivor. Even uh, even will already experience that. No? feeling that, you know, I think he was, much expectations have been, uh, have been, uh, it's like the expectation is too much so in terms of uh, being an inspiration to people. So, well, the, the objective at first was, as a teacher, I would want to inspire teachers even, even if the the job is really demanding, still we find time to relax and blog. If you observe, some of my blogs are relaxation or exercise, relaxation, even facial, haircut. Because I would want to inspire teachers to also relax, not only uh, be busy at what they are doing, but also find time always to stop and relax. So, well, maybe some would click and try to find that inspiration. So, even if the job is boring, even if the job is really too demanding, cognitively too demanding. But sometimes when you view the blog, it's like you're also with me. <laughs> when I read or when I eat food, blog review food, or blog my students. So, maybe... Maybe, maybe start reflecting, no? uh, try to be more introspective. Uh, so for the past few months, uh, teaching in high school, when I, when I started to, to just relax and take time to, uh, to write and then be, be with myself, no? not really publishing a lot. That's the moment when I started uh, realizing that, okay, so maybe posting too much or publishing too much will sometimes empty you or empty me. Sometimes I felt that I don't have anything to share anymore. And I feel that, okay, so maybe this is too much. So, so maybe once in a while I'll post this one I, I love reviewing this place because pretty much the grandstand became part of my life already. Uh, so when I had a problem with my health, so the place that I really depend or leaned on is this place. So I hope that you know people will start to become healthy again. Start eating healthy and then exercise and then you know this place would remind us that we always have to this is a place that we come together, walk, talk, run, be healthy, and live life to the fullest. Live life maybe longer. <laughs>
So, thank you to my viewers, my students, former students, current students. Thank you for still viewing, even if I'm not anymore uh, in the mainstream nowadays. Uh, you know, I'm trying to live a low-profile type of life. So, I hope that you find joy in your life. So, those of you who started blogging, to those of you who, who were challenged by my... <laughs> by my uh, by my courage to blog uh, and now that you're a blogger so just continue what you're doing but never forget also to that to rekindle also that that uh, feeling of wanting to to be private also sometimes you need to leave a space for yourself also not necessarily to publish everything that you feel or think like that. So bye, thank you. Thank you for clicking. So see you in my next one. Bye.